Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Can we talk with Monique? I am Monique. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that little red bell. That bell is a notification button and it lets you know when I upload additional videos and content. Also, if you don't mind, please give me a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up on this video and like and subscribe. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in what I have to say. And it also kind of pushes you in this YouTube algorithm. The more you like it, the more they push it out to the public. And that is what my intentions are, is to have my videos pushed out to individuals like this Survivor Tribe and so other people can learn. So with that being said, thank you so much to all my subscribers. I am grateful and I am humbled. Thank you so much for listening. Now let's get into the video. So as you can look at the thumbnail, this video is about what happens with the aging narcissist. And so as you can see, this young lady right here, she's gorgeous, but as she ages, she's kind of like pulling the skin off so she can get back to her younger self. And as we know, some of these individuals with a personality disorder like narcissism, they don't have a good sense of self or self-awareness, and they're really, really fragile individuals. A lot of times what I have seen is that as the narcissist ages, especially if they were really, really nice looking as they age, it becomes harder for them to get supply. So they will resort to other tactics to get supply. One of the things that I have noticed and have noticed from my own experiences and from reading and listening to other people's experiences they have with narcissists if they're the, as the narcissist gets older and they get divorced or you know they're in their it may be in their mid 40s to 50s they will resort to getting younger supply someone even half their age and i think this is because number one um, it's harder for them to get supply because they're older and most people are set in their ways and they're not trying to, you know, fool around with the buffoonery and the nonsense with the narcissist. And most people in their forties and fifties have matured typically, and they're not trying to deal with that foolishness. So they prey on individuals who may be inexperienced and not aware of what, you know, what a narcissist is and so they prey on the younger person they they can influence them and manipulate them easier so you may see narcissist men and women with younger people someone half their age you're like dang he robbing the cradle or she's a cougar or something of that nature right and so you'll see them sometimes with people who are half their age another thing that i've noticed with uh, aging narcissists is that when it comes to their appearance for some women um, I don't know if some people would refer to it as a midlife crisis, but sometimes, you know, they'll start dressing um, very young, you know, sometimes inappropriate. So they're in their 50s, but they're, you know, they have a midriff on, you know, their stomach is showing and they got, you know, um, some five inch heels on and it's just not inappropriate for their age. Right. So they trying to make themselves look younger. Um for the men, I'm not sure if they do the same thing, but I'm sure probably men would, you know, maybe dress inappropriate as well, too. Another thing that I've noted, um, and it's been in textbooks, and people have given their versions of the narcissist being so over-concerned and consumed with their parents that they start to get uh, plastic surgery very early on. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not judging folks if I don't think there's any wrong thing wrong with a, a nip and a tuck. But when it starts to become um, so pervasive that you look like a whole nother person. I mean, I remember looking at this example of this woman and she got so much surgery. She looked like a cat almost. She didn't even look like herself. And actually, the person who she was before the surgery was I thought she looked really nice. So, you know, but again, their sense of self and who they, how they feel about themselves, it leads them to go and to do these things. So plastic surgery, you'll see them starting to get plastic surgery early on and they just don't stop. So it was a nip, a tuck, a nip, a tuck, a tuck, a nip, a nip, a tuck to the point where everything is so nipped and tucked. There's nothing else, you know, um, I was in a store 
about a month ago. And it was a gentleman. When I say you're a nice looking gentleman, he was really nice looking, but he had went and got all this plastic surgery. And I could see his face was like so tight that he couldn't smile. And then he had gotten the Botox in his lips to where they were like duck lips. And I was saying to myself, dude, you look fine. Just how you are, you just made yourself look worse. It didn't enhance him. It just made him look like he had a frozen face with lips that did not look proportionate. And I'm saying to myself, well, you know, it's not only women and men get surgery and, and do the Botox and things too. So as you can see this picture here, she's pulling her skin back. And um, I think I got another picture here and you can see there's a man here getting Botox. So men and women do it, but I think with narcissists as they start to age, it becomes more pervasive for them and they become more consumed with their looks. Um, they try to get sense of sources of supply, but the sources of supply might be younger. They may dress inappropriate, you know, to younger than what they should be dressing you know, as far as appropriate in appearance. And one of the things with the narcissist that I used to deal with, um, he was a avid fan of sports. And one of the things happened was he started to lose his hair. Now I didn't, I've realized that, you know, for some men and women losing their hair is a, a big deal. And uh, we can see this man here, how he looks totally different with his hair, but you know, all in all, you know, it's a part of life that happens. Well, this person, when they started losing their hair, they were using all these potions, lotions, and creams. And I was like, okay, that's acceptable. You know, you got to accept the fact that, you know, you may not get your hair back. But I thought that was, you know, appropriate behavior, I guess. But then it started to become almost obsessive. And then when the hair was just gone, and I was like, it's not coming back. Um, I could still see that they were still self-conscious about it. So it was never discussed. But then I would notice they would keep their baseball cap on all the time. They would never take their baseball cap off in public, even in the bedroom almost, like that type of situation. And I noticed this person would always be late for the um, ball games, even though they would have like season tickets. But they would get there late. And this is my observation because they didn't want to take their hat off for the national anthem because they were self-conscious about their bald head. So because they didn't have hair. Now, you would think after 20 years that they would have accepted it, but it was still something that they were so self-conscious. Now, had I probably said something about his bald head, and I think I may have said something jokingly one time, but now I'm thinking it probably caused a narcissistic injury, not even knowing that. You know what I mean? Um, so losing their hair, you know, or their appearance in any way, it becomes very, um, it becomes a really big issue for an aging narcissist, you know, because they're, they're no longer in control. You know, they can't manipulate um, the aging process, right? They can manipulate it with plastic surgery, but the aging process still goes on. You know, every day you're getting older. So they lose a sense of control there um, with, with aging. And um, another thing that I noticed, you know, guys, um, I am a nurse and have been a healthcare worker for 27 years. And one of the things that I used to see when I used to work in a hospital, I no longer work in a hospital, but when I used to, I used to see um, elderly people in the hospital alone. They would have like their emergency contact would be their son or daughter, and sometimes they would be in other states. And no one would call, no one would show up. Um, I would sometimes ask them, do you want me to call your son or daughter? And they would go, no, I don't think they want to be bothered. And I was like, why wouldn't they want to be bothered? I'll call for you. But as I've learned about this, um, this horrible epidemic called narcissism, I started to understand, guys, that some of these individuals um, were narcissistic to the their children, right? 
And some people just kind of went no contact and didn't want to be bothered. They did not want to tolerate and they would not tolerate the abuse. And so, guys, what does a narcissist look like as they age? You know, how a narcissist ages? One of the things I see in the end game for a lot of narcissists is it's a very lonely, miserable place. A lot of them end up alone and by themselves because they can't get any more narcissistic supply. People are in their 40s and 50s and have wide up and have gotten tired of the abuse and the nonsense and the buffoonery and all of the you know kerfuffles that they've been in with these these individuals and people are like no way no way I'm not spending the rest of my life you know getting the kerfuffles with you so I'm done and so that's what I've learned I've learned not to judge that I used to judge like why wouldn't he why wouldn't a son or daughter want to contact their mother and father it's because probably some of those situations were some of the situations we've been in and their parents were abusive and did not treat them well and these individuals have gone no contact so what a narcissist looks like guys as they age like I said is very lonely probably by themselves um, and miserable so with that being said, um, thank you so much for joining me. And like I said, this platform is here to uh, bring awareness to other individuals. And if it's just one person that I can touch that hears something that a light bulb goes off and they realize they're in the situation like this and they muster up the courage and the strength to make a change in their life and to um, get into more healthy relationships and leave those unhealthy ones alone, my job has been done because truly I will say to you that um, it was YouTube, um, even after you know being a nurse for 27 years, we all come from all different walks of life, all different socioeconomic statuses, all different races and creeds, and all of us have experienced narcissism and all of us have learned about this at different rates. But a lot of us, many of us have learned just from YouTube and watching these videos. So um, it's almost like paying it forward. Um, I'm paying it forward for all of those people, all of the Dr. Romneys, the Associated Directs, the um, Overcoming Narcissism, all of those channels, they have paid it forward to help individuals try to get out of the situation and to heal and to get better better and so that was the purpose of me starting a channel to educate bring awareness and also help people to understand that self-care is truly important too because a lot of us um, we did zero to null self-care we put others before ourselves and so a part of the healing journey is to take some time and to put ourselves first sometimes you know we all all of us may have some narcissistic tendencies um, but we are not here uh, but many of us, we just don't want to abuse someone and manipulate someone. Um, we want to heal and to get better. And that's the purpose of our of my uh, particular channel and of many of the other channels in this um, narcissistic survivor community. So guys, have you guys noticed anything with the narcissists that have been in your life or in your life as they're aging? What do you see? Do you see some of the same things? Do you see them, um, you know, um, spazzing over their appearance, you know, obsessing over it, getting plastic surgery, um, dressing inappropriately, you know, um, narcissistic injuries, that type of thing, because you said something about maybe they gained two pounds or, you know, that those clothes are too tight, not meaning anything, but not knowing that this person was a narcissist and that, you know, what you said might um, injure them you know, in their, in their brains. But yeah, definitely, um, narcissists as far as, um, aging, their aging process is not something that they can accept. Um, and it's not something that they do well. Um, and the end game for a lot of these people, guys, I've seen it in hospital beds by themselves and alone. And I, I've seen the look in their eyes, um, sometimes of of the regret and the remorse but only sometimes toward the end and then even sometimes I've heard people even in the end stages of life they are still manipulating but the end game for a narcissist um, because they don't change it's a lonely place to be guys so please do me a favor like and subscribe I hope this information 
uh, resonates with you and you can relate to it. Some of the information is just to have you relate and say, hey, wait, I'm not going through this on my own. All that I've gone through, it's I've not been alone. There are other people who have gone through the same thing. And then you can realize some of the same situations that I've had and other people were similar um, in nature, you know, and that we're, we're not alone in this and that also we can do better, you know, by, our, by ourselves, meaning do better for ourselves um, and get out of these toxic, um, abusive uh, relationships. So again, please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next upload of Can We Talk with Monique? Peace.